next is a presentation on enabling autonomous driving and EDAS with simulation and testing by Bhavanish Atikari, Lead Automotive, Indo-Pacific Hexagon. Welcome, Mr. Atikari. Hello, everyone. Welcome you all to ET Auto Connected Vehicle Summit 2021. I'm Bhavanish Shatikari, Lead Automotive Indo-Pacific Hexagon. My talk today is titled Enabling Autonomous Driving and ADAS with Simulation and Testing. And I'll be talking about Hexagon's Autonomous Vehicles Testing and Simulation Solution Ecosystem with specific focus on simulation environment. Let me start with who we are. Hexagon is a global leader in sensor software and autonomous technologies committed to empowering an autonomous future. We emerged as a leader in sensor solution nearly 20 years ago. We then began leveraging software solutions to unlock more value from sensor data. And today we are leveraging our sensor and software leadership to enable autonomous solution. Reality capture technologies, position technologies, design and simulation capabilities, location intelligence mapping, autonomous technologies are some of our core capabilities. Now, let me start by showing you our Exigen Autonomous Vehicle Testing and Simulation Solution Ecosystem. To start with, Autonomous Stuff that provides a research platform for vehicles by combining various sensors and providing you a prototype vehicle for which you can start deploying ADAS algorithms. Novatel that provides precision GNSS units from centimeter level GPS accuracy. Leica helps in mapping of the environment and helps you create a digital world. So on the virtual side, we have Adams, Adams Real-Time, state-of-the-art vehicle dynamic simulation software, data management, analytics, AI sampling for efficient generation of scenarios for validation of autonomous vehicles. In today's talk, uh, I'll be focusing mainly on VTD and its ability to deploy AI driver models, traffics, sensors, and 3D environment. Virius uh, has more than 20 years of experience in generation of virtual environments for ADAS and uh, AD development. Multiple synergies exist between Hexagon, AB, and VRES. Uh, as you can see on the bottom right, Novatel, Adams, Leica, and Autonomous Stuff. We have been key partners in standardization initiatives like OpenCRG, OpenDrive, and OpenScenario. So OpenCRG is used to define road surface like speed bumps, potholes, uh, the road surface as such. OpenDrive is how we describe road networks. An open scenario is used to define various scenarios for AV validations. VTD is world's most widely used uh, platform for creation, configuration, and animation of virtual environments and scenarios for training, testing, and validation of ADAS and autonomous vehicles. So this slide gives you an overall simplistic simulation workflow within VTD. You'll start by creating your static environment with uh, our tool called Road Designer. From Road Designer, you will export 3D model file and open drive file describing the logic of the road, and optionally, an open CRG file describing the road surface. Then you will add your participants using Scenario Editor. From Scenario Editor, you will uh, export an open scenario file describing the traffic of all participants. Once you have generated these files, you will animate your scenarios with both, both vehicle dynamics and uh, traffic modules. The operating interface helps you to control the simulation, load a scenario, change the sensor positions, change weather conditions, et cetera. VTD can deliver three main types of outputs, simplified sensor, annotated object list from the FOV of your sensors, physics-based image for camera, 
point cloud data for ray tracing for LIDARs. So your SUT can be either a model, a software, a hardware, or a vehicle. We deliver plugins for ROS, ADDF, and uh, Simulink, and an API for C++. So in generating a 3D environment, we have two approaches here, a measurement-based workflow and a modeling-based workflow. In a modeling-based uh, workflow, you don't need any measurements. You can parameterize it. Uh, we provide pre-built tiles for different countries. You can connect them together to form a road network. But the accuracy is not as good as measurement-based workflows. When we go with measurement-based workflow, we work with our sister company, Leica Geosystem Unit, Pegasus 2, to build a 360-degree imagery. Here you can measure at 50 to 100 kilometers per hour, scan the data around, extract road information, and convert this data into open drive format, uh, which can be then plugged into VTD. So with VTD, you'll be able to consider realistic driver, realistic dynamics, realistic pedestrian, and realistic weather conditions. So once you have generated your static content, you'll add the participants, the vehicles, the pedestrians, and the animated traffic signs. Drivers, vehicles, and traffic lights are easily configurable. Perceiving the environment depends on what you want to test. Do you want to test the perception algorithms or do you want to test a control algorithm? With perception algorithms, I mean the object detection and classification. Like, for example, a camera-based detection algorithm will detect and classify correctly all the objects on an image. Uh, with, with control algorithms, I mean decision-making. Should the car decelerate, brake, steer, accelerate. Typically all the ADAS and safety algorithms as well as autonomous driving algorithms. So another important use case is on the advanced headlights or adaptive headlights. The use cases can be evaluation of uh, visual evaluations, visual, visual ratings, visual uh, virtual testing, uh, that is SIL and HIL testings. So benefits can be interactive testing and development of light control function, repeatability of scenarios, human controller involved, realistic brightness and contrast by using SGR monitor. In comparison to camera, the LiDAR usually uses smaller resolution in terms of pixels. This allows us to use ray tracing for this sensor. VTD is applicable for various teams and numerous platforms like autonomous driving, connectivity, ADAS, lighting, and homologation. And it is flexible with model, software, hardware, driving simulator, and vehicles. So you can see here uh, the different modules of VTD, driver, dynamics, sensor, SUT, traffic. Depending on the exile environment, they may be real or virtual, like it's color-coded here uh, between blue and green. This is an example of uh, camera HIL uh, with the uh, VTD. Another example of uh, driving simulator with VTD. Example of a vehicle-in-loop application with VTD. So another important point I want to touch upon is ADAS environment simulation combined with test automation. So one of the key challenges of manual testing is the amount of time it consumes. And that's where automatic testing can play a role. If you look at the overall processes, it's about the requirement identification, test plan building, scenarios, KPIs, test run, and then the result. The overall process can take from three to five years of development cycle, which can be brought down to three months of development cycle. 
So it's a complex platform with multiple tools and models from different uh, suppliers. That's where we allow you to integrate and with various platforms like BTD can integrate with Pike Tech, uh, Tracetronic. Uh, so if you are interested more in this, uh, do get in touch with us for a demo. The next topic is uh, VTD scale. With millions of scenarios to be evaluated at each step of autonomous vehicle development, there is simply no way to manage everything manually. To address this challenge, VTD scale, that is a cloud native solution, provides a full environment to conduct large scale virtual simulation on AVN ADAS functions with VTD. With this solution, you'll be able to parallelize thousands of simulation in a deterministic manner. VTD scale is uh, supported in Amazon and uh, Azure Cloud. The solution will allow you to do early software development at scales. It can also help you to perform parameter tuning, homologation tests, integration tests, and so on. The main thing is that uh, it allows you to integrate it with your CI and CD processes. So VTD scale is built on open standards, Azure and AWS as cloud provider, Kubernetes for cluster deployment, Docker uh, to run containerized uh, components, Spark to execute simulation, Jupyter Hub uh, for notebooks, and Hadoop for data persistence. I'll run you, I'll quickly run through some of the use cases here. So VW uses VTD to develop and validate cooperative adapt, uh, driver assistance systems based on ADTF. Audi is using VTD uh, together with Sumo to uh, develop and validate V2V communications. AVL is using VTD for their HIL platforms and BMW uh, correlated synthetic data with real data using Virus VTD. So that uh, comes to an end of my presentation. Uh, thank you. Please reach out to me if you have any questions uh, or any of the topics you would want to discuss in detail. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thikari, for a precise presentation. Now we'll proceed to the next session.